<gasps> yellow. Knowing myself, I probably edited a big yellow thing over my face. I know it in advance, that's how unfunny I am. But today we're not being funny. Today we're, I'm showing you a tutorial, another one, on how to zoom in with no plugins needed. How awesome is that? A lot of people have been asking me how to get the plugin, which is the Saphir one, and I got no clue. What I would recommend doing is going on YouTube, checking how to get the Saphir on Sony Vegas, and it'll tell you, look in the comments if it says, oh my god, I made you, you just made it like, a virus on my computer and then don't use that and look everywhere and once you find something that's that looks okay like the comments are pretty decent that means it's working so do that it is at risk it is at your own risk so be careful so you can do that then check my other tutorial and then do whatever you want now I'm actually gonna show you something that is taken from well, the, te the technique is from a video that I'm going to link in the comments below, which is another type of effect slash transition that you can make in your videos uh, using pan crop without using any sorts of plugins. So you can click on that when you want, if you want to know it. So I'm, in, like, I'm getting that technique using that one today to show you the zoom in. And then later on, Hello peeps from the first tutorial of zooming in, I'm going to show you how to zoom out. I thought it was kind of logic, I thought it was making sense that you just do the opposite, but I'll show you still because it happens. Alright, so first of all, you choose your clip. Awesome. Let's do infamous second sum today. Why not? Okay, so you guys, now that we have both clips, be ready. That's the hard part-ish. Okay, that's not the hard part, but it's the hardest, technically, which is the only step you're going to make, or second, after choosing your clips. So what you're going to do is that, let's say in your frames, in your pan crop, and position right here, you're going to go on your last frame, and then you're going to back off how many you want. If you want it to be longer, you put more, and if you want it to be shorter, you put less, obviously. So let's say we're going to, since our clips are kind of long, we're going to do seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome, so you're gonna take your first frame and well technically if you don't want to just pick your first frame just oh my god This is slow Okay, just right click restore. It's gonna make you a point. It's just the exact same thing if let's say your first um, Your first uh, how's it called your first frame is more zoom in click do the right click Copy it and then paste it you get it all right, so you're going to do that, then you're going to right click on it, you're going to put it to slow, then you're going to go to your last frame, and let's say you want to zoom in to a certain point, so you're just going to zoom in, and the last frame you're going to right click, do it to fast, and then you don't see it, but I'll show you. So frame by frame, it looks a bit like this. And then you're going to do the same in this one. So keep in mind that since you're using pan crop and not something else that you can zoom out of this actual frame, you're going to have to know that you're not going to have your full kind of image in that zoom. Since obviously you have to zoom in, there's going to be a certain part that's not going to be in there. Keep that in mind. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I could have just, whatever. All right, so let's say you want to zoom in on Delson's face. You're just going to zoom in, place it like that. All right, so your first frame, fast, and then the second one, it's slow. So every time you want to start a zoom in, which is a little trick for you, every time you want to start something, uh, let's say you want to, it, just your regular frame, and then you want it to zoom in, First kind of square is you're going to put it to slow and then as soon as it so it zooms in like that. So slow and then fast. The video I'm linking in the description is going to tell you what I'm talking about in more details. So let's see how it looks like. I'm just going to look like that. So that's without any sorts of plugin, that's the best you can do. And then to zoom out, I'm gonna show you since that's what you guys wanted. Let's say you wanna zoom out of Delson. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're just gonna double click on your frame to make it, since 
that's an example that what I wanted to tell you about. Since let's say your frame is like smaller, if you click on restore, it's gonna fuck everything up. So you either right click on it, copy and then paste it where you need it, or you double click. I know, right? And then the last frame, you're just gonna restore it and then put it to fast. And then you got it. You just do the opposite. You do mirror or whatever. So it's going to look like zoom in and then bam, zoom out. Get it? Awesome. And as soon as you're going to want to put another clip, let's say it zooms out on this, because why not? We're going to make, okay, seven is here. So we're going to keep that. So let's say it zooms out of fetch. And we're going to make like that. First frame fast, and then the one in the middle slow. Awesome. So let's see. All right. I will give you an advice though for it to look a bit smoother. That let's say we put it back to fetch zooming in on Delson. Since as you can see, we're zooming in on the upper left, I suggest that when you want to zoom in on your frame before, make it so this is. The regular frame as soon as it zooms out on, on the last frame make it go upper left a little bit and then it's gonna look a bit more you know it's gonna look a bit better so let's see like it looks like it has a flow together so it's not that bad so if you don't have Saphir I suggest you guys do that of course the zoom in is gonna be a bit different but not as much as it's gonna make it super ugly because even if I have Saphir, I like to use that technique as well as the technique that's shown in um, <clears throat> the tutorial which in the tutorial of the video that I linked below it also says how to bounce your clips pretty cool I actually got that uh, tip from uh, Delson Trash on, on YouTube oh, on mine so thanks I love you um, okay so now Hi peeps from the first video. <laughs> Here it is. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you uh, how to do the thing that you wanted me to show you. So, all right. Okay. So, all right. Again, blur my curves. I don't know why they decided to name it like that. All right. Um. Okay. What? What were we talking about? Um. Six and a half hours later. How to zoom out? Right. Okay. So let's say we just zoomed in on this one. Um, okay, let's make it at the last frame, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're at the last frame, let's say this clip we just zoomed it in, so you use the pan crop to make it zoom in. By the way, people, you can use that too, okay? The Z dist, instead of pan crop, just use that, all right? So if you want, if you know that you're gonna zoom out, zoom in with this. So zoom in, technically, when you go in close, between zero and, and one, it's gonna be like in so let's say we make it zoom I'm gonna actually gonna show you in general all right so let's say the first one's gonna be 0. 0.5 and then one two three four five it's gonna be one coming back to regular and then make it fast and make it slow and then make it reflect guys use reflect too it's so much prettier than tile I just realized that sorry um, and actually blur s you don't have to use it it's really to your own discretion but if you don't want to, don't have to, for you. If you want to make it, like, do it, but I've decided not to these days because uh, usually my transition are going to be more like, uh, since I use uh, coloring and I use, like, different points of transition, it, it's smoother, so I don't need to put any sorts of blur, so I don't, but still, it's up to you. And if you want, I know somebody asked me how to get more blur, just add another blur on top of it, animate it, so like it's on the bottom of the thing, on the of the window of like your effect, it's gonna say like animate, so just put the first one on like max or whatever, and then five frames after, put it less, not too hard. All right, so last frame, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make it to seven. All right, so we want it to be just regular, right? So let's say we're gonna make a point, of just the normal thing. We're gonna make it slow, and then I'm gonna do a one frame before it stops. Oh, I actually see it, no. All right, so to zoom out, super easy. Just make it more than one, and it's gonna zoom out. So let's say the first frame, we made it to 0.5. I say that to make it harmonious, we're gonna make it 0.1.5. 
So it's kind of like, you know, like I like to do that when I edit, do everything mathematically. I just put it like, oh, if it's a 0.5, I'm going to make it 1.5. If it's like that, it's like that. Plus, it's going to help you make it more smooth. So everything actually has the same kind of uh, whatever you get it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, you're gonna make it too fast. All right, you guys wanna see what it looks like? Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, like, give it a second. It's just gonna... Yeah. All right, great. And then you can add another clip. Let's say we add this one like we did in the last one. And we're gonna make it zoom out. So example of it to zoom out, we're gonna make it, all right, Zetus, make it to 0.5 and then click on the click, click on the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I'm not mistaken, that's what we did. One and then five. fast and then slow. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna, oof. All right, let's see. Ta-da! Isn't this beautiful? Awesome, we did it. Okay, um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, to make it a bit better looking, since if you're zooming out, at one point it just stops, and then it continues, I recommend going on pan crop. That's not gonna affect anything from blur more curve. So I say, zoom it in on the beginning, and then last frame, restore it, so that as soon as it continues, it's gonna like zoom out, and then keep zooming out from pan crop, and then bam, zoom out again. And then do the same thing for your other uh, other uh, clip. Restore the last frame, and then zoom it in. And if you're zooming in, obviously make it the opposite so that your first frame is restored and then the last frame is like smaller. So when it zooms in, it's gonna be more natural looking. So let's do that. See what I'm talking about? All right, you get it. But there you go, guys. That's really all you gotta do. So we got the rotation going on. For rotation, use Reflect as well. I'm suggesting it. We have a zoom in without any plugins, so you guys can have fun with that. If you wanna have like a certain blur, just add it, animate it. Actually, before you ask how to do that, let me show you. <laughs> okay, so, all right, okay, 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 okay. So let's say we zoomed in on this one. Uh, go away. Five, zoom it in on Delson's beautiful face. So fast and then slow. Uh, uh, Alright, and then uh, find in your effects some sort of blur. I think I like the, the, um, the whatever it's called blur. <laughs> Give me a sec, I'll show you. I have such the wrong vocabulary for somebody that's making um, tutorials. All right, it's called Sony Gaussian Blur. So you, you're gonna add that, and then it's either gonna be written animate on the bottom left, or it's gonna have a clock. So I suggest you to click on both clocks, first frame, and then one, two, three, four, five. Make it so that there's uh, nothing. And then again, make it fast, both frames at the beginning, since you're working with horizontal and vertical. And then again, the one in the middle, slow. And it's gonna add more blur. So that works with the, 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 the whatever, like a, with the blur mode curves. If you want more rest there, add that. So it's gonna look like that. All right? All right. We did it, we went through it. If you guys have any sorts of tutorials you wanna request, comment in the comments, let me know, and I'll, I'll make it as quick as I can for you. I've actually had a lot of comments about this zooming out, so I'm sorry if it took so long for everyone. I just didn't expect to have so many comments of it, so I guess here it is. Um, anything else you want to know about Sony Vegas Pro? I feel super comfortable with it, so I feel like I'm not, like I'm pretty like okay if we're giving tutorials with it. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about any effects, I can't tell you how to get them because I really don't know how I got them. I got my friend to do it for me. Uh, let me know anything else I can do for you, alright? So, I, I reply to comments too. If it's something tiny, let me know. And if it's a video, it's, if it's video worthy because it's long, I'll do it. Don't worry. 
All right, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. Hope I helped. Happy editing, mostly, because I'll be real. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make. It's weird. I can't reach, but... Huh. Bye! <laughs>